Alrighty guys, welcome back to part 12 of my Minecraft story mode playthrough. And today we are finishing off episode 6 here, the Herobrine Mansion. I believe that's what it's called. It might just be called the Haunted Mansion in the game. I'm not sure. But as you guys know, hmm, last time we were checking out this room here where uh, when you got Tork Dog away. died. And so. Sparkles stuff for that matter. Oh yeah, and we also already checked out the room where Captain Sparkles died, so... I'm thinking this painting over here is what I need to look at. Ooh, look, it's got holes in the eyes. Does this painting have eye holes? Oh, yeah. How did I not notice that before? Seems worth taking a closer inspection. Oh! And this used to be something you could do in Minecraft. I think it's something you still it's can. Sort of um, if you put a wooden sign on the lever. wall and then try to what place, well, it have to be like a four by four picture, not a two by one. Okay, everyone, it wouldn't work. make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap. But with some of the large paintings, there was sometimes like that, and you were able to cover More up some holes in the wall. Covered arrows, nasty. Well. Looks like we found out how the white pumpkin killed Tork Dog. Yeah, and how he's getting around the house. The hidden passage. I assume we're investigating the creepy passageway. I think we've come too far to turn around now. Oh yeah, we've uh, well, we've come way too far. After you then. I hope Dan's okay locked up in the library. We could have put them in even bigger danger. What if there are more traps in there? Hey, do you trust me or not? I don't need people second-guessing me on this. Jeez, okay, okay. Okay, that was probably the wrong choice. Yes. I didn't mean to do that. Keep that temper up and people will start to think you're the white pumpkin. What do you think that is? No idea. But look, a lever! Don't. The amount of redstone wiring that must be hidden in this place. Amazing! Ivor, no! What do you think I am? Gents, I was just looking at it! Oh, good. Thanks for the vote of confidence, though. Uh, sorry? See anything that this lever might be connected to? It's the bunny. What do you see? It's the library. Nobody's in here. Oh, it's Dan. Okay. I see Dan locked up in there. Got this dispenser in here. I think Lizzie, I just heard what are you in. doing in here? I snuck in past that blonde guy. Lucas, I think. We have to talk. About what? I know you pushed the button. No, that's not true. You don't have to lie to me, Dan. I know it was an accident. I know you're not the white pumpkin. Oh, thank goodness. That's such a relief. Yeah, it was an accident, and I felt awful about it ever since. Oh, it's such a relief to be able to talk about We're gonna this. Shoot it's at been Lizzie, absolutely I think. tearing me up inside. I'm sure. I just haven't or you maybe heard Dan's anything gonna get about not pushing in? buttons? Oh, come on. Nothing like this has ever happened when I pushed a button. I feel just so awful. We've noticed the each other. pumpkin, he's in there. Then let's go kick his butt. Let's do this. Yeah. What, what on earth? Oh, spiders! What's going on? The door's locked, Jesse! Spiders, they're everywhere! Okay, I'll see if I can get in another way. What do I do? Let's go for the pumpkin. Why you little? 
Oh no! Oh no! What a shame. Enjoying the party? <laughs> I hit A! Am I the only Give one that got in? Damn it. I guess we were just gonna go after him. I don't know why. Lizzie died though. Guess it was not her. Try to keep up. Oh! How many times do I have to hit that? Damn. It's soul, soul sand. sand. Lava! Your luck's about to run out. Oh, he's got an ender pearl. I hit it! Damn it! Oh, this guy. This guy's fit. <laughs> there! Jesse, I'll cut him off! <sighs> oh, come on, Jesse. This is the first staircase Lucas? you've had to go up. Oh, Jesse! Lucas? Hey. Give me a moment. I'm trying to figure this one out myself. What happened, Lucas? I thought you were chasing the white pumpkin. Uh, yeah, I was. And I almost had him until, you know, he took me by surprise and stuck this pumpkin on my head. Well, what's going on in here? No! <gasps> you called the white pumpkin! Grab him, quick! On it! Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah, it's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. But Dan was the one who pushed the button that killed Sparkles in the first place. It, it doesn't match up. You were there when the White Pumpkin did that to Lizzie, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was. So that means I can't be the White Pumpkin. It's the facts, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. And now, Lizzie is gone too. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside? Outside? Where all the googlies are? I think it's no, her. You can't do if that. I'm, I feel like it's her. Yeah, uh, I don't know. She always I wants to take the most drastic Lucas, steps. But Jesse did save me. I don't feel right about chucking your friend to the zombies. Hmm. Brave stance. Oh, man, I'm so glad you said that. We really are just here to help. Fine. <sighs> Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like, lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I was mostly joking. I guess that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. That cool with everyone? That's funny, because I don't trust you. It's fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Awesome. Come on, Cassie. I don't, don't trust go her. getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. This isn't because I like you or anything. No, of course not. Be quiet. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. Okay, well, what are we supposed to do now? We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. And I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. Seems like some of these people are getting a little stir-crazy. 
Somehow the white pumpkin was able to escape that room when Lucas chased him into it. We need to figure out how he did that. Sounds like a plan to me. Let's talk to Dan and Stampy. Dan, I know that you're innocent, but you're still a suspect, Stampy Cat. Got some questions. Seriously? Where were you when the chase with the white pumpkin was going on? I... I don't want to say. Ah, oh, come on, Stampy. You're just making yourself look more guilty. Where were you? Fine. I was sitting in a corner, humming to myself. It calms me down. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll leave you guys to it. Uh-huh. Sounds good. I don't think it's Stampy. I think it's Casey. Maybe Stacy, but I don't think it's Stacy. What do you want? You've been pretty aggro on accusing Lucas. Seems a little suspicious. Not nearly as suspicious as Lucas. Where were you when I was chasing the white pumpkin? Making cookies. I get a sweet tooth when I'm nervous. Don't go anywhere, Stacy. <sighs> sure. I feel like it's the white pumpkin picture now that I have to paint. Or I have to punch, not paint. What the hell's wrong with me? Can't even talk. I guess I'm looking for one with eye holes. Mm. Anything on this side of them? I can talk to Petra. How are things with you? Oh, you know, just peachy. Stuck in a house with a masked killer. One of my best friends is the current top suspect. It was really nice of Ivor to step up like that, though. Didn't think he had it in him. Yeah, that guy can still surprise me sometimes. Agreed. I think there's a lot more there than meets the eye. Okay. Probably. Well, I vote we get back to it. Don't want to leave poor Lucas in that closet for too long. Oh, they still put him in the closet? I don't think there's anything over here. I guess we have to go look at all these paintings. I think that's the only way. Hmm. That's gonna piss her off. Can I punch this one? I think it's this one, I just didn't punch it. Yeah. Yep. <gasps> Whoa, another secret passage. I think I already know what I need to do here. It's the order well, that the people were promising. killed. So it's Torque Dog, these Sparkles, Lizzie. Take. Take. That did okay, something. That seems like a step in the right direction. Place web there. Another step in the right direction. Yeah, it's the yeah, order that, that people were right. killed in. And then sand. There we go. Awesome. Maybe? Oh, yep. There we go. The door's open the wrong way. The texture's on oh, there wow. backwards. You got it open? Yeah. You guys should stay here. It could be dangerous. No, I totally want to follow you into your friend's creepy secret passageways. Ugh, seriously? You really think Lucas did it? You haven't it? proven that he didn't yet. Hey, we're gonna prove he's innocent. You'll see. Sure, well, see you back here at quarter to never. Come on, Petra. Thanks for having my back. I don't think that oh, was the that right option. Deep. I keep on going with, like, the rude it. options. The I don't know why. Home. That's just what I've been, been doing today. There. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ugh! It's just... I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the white pumpkin is still running around, and he could strike again at any minute. Not to mention, all those people back there have been so ungrateful, so petty. Hey, Petra, I understand, okay? I'm with you. You're right. I know you're right. <sighs> Sorry, Jesse. I just really needed to get that off my chest. We're gonna get through this. Let's start by... Figuring out how we're going to get down there, huh? You know the drill. What have you got in your inventory? Didn't you have all those wood blocks? It's 
Sorry, I was whittling earlier. Nervous habit. Well, luckily those should do just the trick. Ladder time. How many? Oh my God, you Petra. You thinking ladder? Yeah. Gonna need a lot of them. You made a lot of sticks. I'll race you. <laughs> You're on. Oh. Done. Don't. Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. All right, we got a lot more of these to make. Let's get to work. Thank you. Now I can just mash A. That's what I thought it was going to make me do, and then I just started, and I was like, oh, wait, that's my sword. Okay, that's one down. Lots more to go. <sighs> See? Told you we'd make it. Yeah. I just hope this works. You think we're gonna find the white pumpkin down here? With all these secret passageways? I'll be honest, I hope we do. And this time he's not walking away with just a scar on his mask. Brutal. I like it. Hey, do you hear... Lots and lots of zombies? Yeah, I do. I'm starting to smell them, too. Ugh, ditto. Gross. Got him caged up. Yeah. He's got a spawner. Well, that explains all the zombie noises. What in the world is that? <gasps> well, some sort of like zombie spawner. White Pumpkin actually made the sea of zombies outside? That's what it looks like. So that's... What's that? It's a mob farm. It's where... That's Lizzie's stuff. I think this is where people's stuff goes after those hoppers upstairs suck it up. You're right. I think that's Lizzie's. Okay, but where's the loot going from here? Hopefully right to the white pumpkin. Hey, you see the light coming out of that tunnel too, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. And it doesn't look like it's blocked off like all the, uh... Zombie filled ones. We can get up there. I think we might be able to follow the loot to wherever it's going. Well, that's awesome. Nice find. How do you want to get up there? Grab some dirt, Petra. We're going climbing. Oh, that's a little disorienting. Okay. I think we can jump from here. I thought I just saw a modded uh, ore on the wall. Yeah, see it right there above Petra's head? That looks like... Uh, what is it? Thanks, Jesse. It looks like a modded no ore. I can't remember what mod, though. I think... I feel like I've seen it before. I feel like it looks like it's from a mod. Weird. That almost sounds like... Cats? Oh. Cats! Whoa! Yeah. Uppercut. <laughs> it's just some sort of growing station. Weird. The white pumpkin must have heard us. It's stampy. No, I think it's just he's investigating. Whoa! 
Stampy Cat? Boy, you gave me a fright. What are you doing down here? What are we doing down here? Yes, it looks terribly suspicious, you know. We're trying to find the White Pumpkin. Oh, well, I'm glad you haven't run into him yet. Come on, you guys. I can't be the White Pumpkin. I'm Stampy Cat. I'm no murderer. Huh? I needed to find you because I have something important to tell you. I have something to confess. Something I haven't told anyone. Where is this going? I stole it from Dan. It was just supposed to be a joke, a harmless prank, but then, well, you've seen what happened. Wow. Who'd have thought? I knew people wanted it, but I had no idea that, that this would happen. I did happen. not see that coming wow. either. Wow. Stampy Cat with the enchanted flint and steel. I didn't see that one coming. Definitely suspicious. I know, and that's why I had to keep it a secret. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. But that white pumpkin is, and he's killing people for it. And now we're down in his lair. I was thinking maybe I should just give it to the white pumpkin. What? Just maybe that would make it all stop, right? Maybe? First we need to figure out who this white pumpkin really is, then we'll figure out what to do from there. I, I suppose that's a better strategy. That looks like a lair door, if I ever saw one. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Very creepy. I would not put this in my top ten places I've ever been. Well, there's where the meowing's coming from. Don't worry, we'll get out of here as soon as we find something that proves the White Pumpkin's identity. Uh. Portal library. It's in the shape of a skull. Let's see here. Legend of the World portals, basic portal theory, portals and you. Wow, they're all about portals. That's pretty obsessive. I feel like the painting's where I need to go, so we're going to just try and avoid... Avoid that. Oh no. Orc dog. Captain Pretty Sparkles. Sure everyone's stuff gets collected. Uh, oh, the Shadow Lady? Oh, Lizzie. I guess that's, yeah, that's her actual, uh, people. like, YouTube tag or, or username. Sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. Ooh, fishies. Let's talk to these guys. You guys doing okay? I'll be honest with you. I'm pretty worried about Lucas. If the white pumpkin isn't down here, he must still be upstairs. And I thought that I was okay because I was numb and feeling no emotions at all. But I'm beginning to suspect it was actually shock. Don't worry, we're gonna crack this wide open. So he's saying he was in shock. Okay, we got a bunch of... Uh, got a crafting table, a chest, and a brewing stand. I'm guessing this chest should have... Oh, yep, we've got sticks. Anything else? Oh, wow. And ender pearls. Sweet. That must be how the white pumpkin got down that elevator shaft. What about the brewing stand? Looks like a typical brewing stand. Must be where the white pumpkin made the tipped arrows that killed Torque Dog. Didn't Lizzie say that she taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those, too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she did. It's got to be Cassie or Stacy. I think Should it's Stacy because of the cat. String from those cobwebs, it'll go perfectly with those sticks I found. And then, oh, you know what I think I got to do? So it gave me sticks. Now it's giving me wet. I think I have to go get a fishing pole, then catch a fish over in that one area, so I can get this cat off of this chest. So let's do that real quick. Let's uh, string there, string there. Then it's a stick, 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 right? Yep, fishing pole. What's that for? Thought I'd try and catch some of those fish I saw. Always nice to have a spare fish, I suppose. Now let's go use the fishing pole. Yes. 
Got it. The basic ah. fish. Wow, nice catch, Jesse. Couldn't even get a salmon. Thanks. Can I even open these? No. Okay, we're saving the painting for last because I feel like that's where we need to go. But let's use the fish. Okay, here, kitty. Get the fishy. What's up with its face texture? There you go. Jeez. Oh no. Oh, many cats, so many cats. Oh, cats give me the creeps. No offense, Stampy. None taken. I'm not really a cat. At least I can finally get in here now. Not really a cat. Full of portraits. Loads of them. Oh, I don't like that. I guess he already had all the X'd out ones ready to go. Yep, besides Petra, we've got Dan, Stacy, Stampy, Lucas, Ivor, and... Oh, hey, there's me. But what does it all mean? The cats, the crossed-out portraits? Yeah, the portraits. There was one person who didn't have a crossed-out portrait. Someone who's a known cat person. I, I called it. Hey, so who did it? Yes, you figured it out? The white pumpkin is I Stacey. don't think it's Stacy Plays. I think it was Cassie. No, um, actually, her portrait's right there. Yeah, uh, Cassie's actually the one I hit the wrong one. Portrait. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, not only is she the white pumpkin, but she owns way, way too many cats. Well, come on, you guys. Evil cat Time lady. To prove Lucas's innocence and catch us a white pumpkin. I can't believe I messed that up. I... At some point, I accidentally started. I accidentally flip flopped their name and got I'll them go confused. Round everyone up. What's going on? Yeah, you were gone an awful long time. What's going on here? Did you even find anything? Quickly, where's Cassie Rose? Cassie? Why do you ask? Yeah, what's up? No sign of Cassie, but. Huh? Are you going to tell them, or should I just do it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. Is this going where I think this is going? The white pumpkin is Cassie Rose. <gasps> She's the murderer. <laughs> That's impossible. No way. No way. Yeah, Jesse, I'm afraid you're going to have to do better than that. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? There's something that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Torque Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Where is this going? Shh. Let Jesse finish. Cassie said she recognized us, even before we saw the portraits. Uh, actually, that was Lizzie. Oh, I keep shoot, on messing with I that. I remembered that. Well, no matter. I haven't even gotten to the really juicy stuff yet. That came next. When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh. I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. The white pumpkin had portraits all ready to go, pre xed out, one for each of us, except for Cassie. <gasps> Ooh, that's good. Okay, I think they're on the fence, but you can do this. Bring it home, okay? But it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. I gotta think these through. Cats. Dozens of calico cats, and they all look just like Winslow. An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Orange, black, and white. Really? Shh. Winslow is black, white, and orange. Cassie, is this all true? This whole thing has been about your crazy scheme to get a portal key, hasn't it? Killing whoever gets in your way. How very clever, Jesse. Well, 
I guess that's it then. You caught me. I am the murderer. I just don't believe this. I know. I was shocked too. But Cassie, I still don't understand why a portal key. I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years. Trapped with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. That is, until I finally heard that this world's portal key had been found. I knew it was one of you. So I tried my best to earn your friendship, figure out who had it. Cassie, how could you? We shared cookies together. Cookies! You really think that's an excuse? You're pathetic, Cassie. It doesn't excuse all the horrible things you've done. Spoken just like a person who has no idea what it feels like to be stuck somewhere you don't belong. We need to do something with you, Cassie Rose. I vote we build an obsidian prison and surround it with love. No, 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 no. I won't let you do that. I can't. No. This is your fault. You did this to me. Ah! I'll fight all of you. Each and every one of you. She's gonna go through. Oh. Whoa. Another trap. We need to dig her out. After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this. Ah, uh, let's dig her out. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Look. I can't believe it. She's gone. What a way to go. Yeah, I guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. That, wow. I don't the think trap she died. Taken out by one of her own traps. That's ironic. If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. Hey, it's morning. I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free. And we're alive. It's not wasted standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here. That's not the last we've seen of her. I don't think Stacy or Casey's. I can't. Cassie's dead. I don't know her name. Ah, oh, I've never been so happy to smell rotting flesh. Yeah, that is. Yikes, that is pretty rank. I feel bad thinking about the people who aren't here to smell it. Talk Dog, Sparkles, Lizzie, and Cassie, I guess. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, I didn't mean to depress anyone. I just can't stop thinking about them. I tried my hardest, but there was nothing I could do. Oh, we all know that, Jesse. It's not your fault. Lucky for us, that portal brought you here. Speaking of which... I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? That's true. Maybe it's nearby. There it is. Hey, what do you know? There it is. A fabulous coincidence! So, I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. Just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. <laughs> That's really nice of you, but I don't think we can really portal hop without a portal key. Oh, uh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. You stole the portal key from me? It was just meant to be a prank, a harmless prank, and I'm so sorry, so very, very sorry. Yeah, come on, it's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. And so the drama continues. Fascinating. Hey, it's cool. Guys, you can share it. You make, like, your own Order of the Stone. Yeah, all right. I guess I can live with that. Yes, that's a wonderful idea. To share it. Well, I'm not great at goodbyes, so I'm actually just going to start walking home. Thanks for everything. Yeah, me too. Travel safe, you guys. What a strange, strange bunch of individuals. Honestly, Cassie, the twist of Stampy having the portal key, here. that was From kind of a... Uh, did well, not expect it. One of the old builders. I thought it was going to be Dan the whole time. Other worlds? It all adds up, I guess. I know. 
Oh, wow, I think you could be right. It totally makes sense. If it's true, I sort of thought old builders would be taller. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who might be an old builder, and she's a pumpkin-wearing serial killer. Typical. Well, here we are. Would you care to do the honors, Jesse? Huh? That's weird. Winslow? That's strange. I thought... Oh! It was a trap. Alrighty, sorry if it seems weird and I sound different. My power went out and this is like a day later. Oh! Oh! <sighs> my eyes are still glowing green. I can't green. see a thing. I don't have any whites in my eyes. Well, that's ominous. Do you hear that? Endermites! And there it is, Jesse! You're trapped! Stuck! <laughs> Just like I've been in this rotten world. I knew, I knew you, you weren't dead. dead, Cassie. I knew it was way too easy. And yet you still walked right into my best and final trap. I don't know how much time you've spent with Endermites, but the poor things are eternally hungry. I would throw the flint and steel up here before I drop you down to find out how sharp their teeth are. Uh, guys, I dropped the flint and steel when we fell. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, Jesse. What's it gonna be? The flint and steel? Or your lives. Just give me the flint and steel, and I'll let you go free. I don't believe her. Hey, I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? How about we share? 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 What, you want to walk through some portal happily holding hands and stab me in the back later? Nope, this is taking too long. I'll just let the Endermites eat you and fish it out of your inventory. It'll be the best fishing trip ever. <gasps> Wings on my pet. Activate the trap! Want something done right, you have to prepare for your death! <laughs> oh, this isn't good. Guys! Jesse! Come on, Winslow. Stupid door? Oh, that's no use! Without a lever or button, we'll never get these iron doors open. Just hold on, guys. I'm going to get up to the control panel. Oh, I forgot about the control. Oh, that is disorienting. Break it. Uh, just started going faster. She booby trapped her booby traps? That is so paranoid. You thought you could do it just like that? Trying to get leverage? Give me that key, Jesse. Guys, no! No! Hey, Jesse! Guys, holy crap, you're all alive, thank goodness. Yeah, for now. Don't worry, I found a lever. Throw it down. Okay, get ready. Drop it right on Petra. Yeah. Okay, you guys get to safety. I need to find that flint and steel. You're not a fast learner, are you? I grow tired of this game, Jesse. The key? You didn't have it either! Oh no, it's mine! Nope. No! <laughs> No, we are going home. No, you can't do this. Smash, 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 smash. Mine. Come on. I won't let you have it. No, no, it's all. Don't touch that. Winslow, bad kitty, stop it! Winslow, good boy, sweet kitty, bring that to master. Please, bring it to master. Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. 
Oh, it's gonna do a no! tapping, damn it. No! Think you should give that back, Cassie? No, I'm afraid not. Come on! Pull yourself up, man. I'll give you one thing. You are incredibly tenacious! <laughs> That's never act, Jesse. It stays on fire forever! Well, Winslow, that's the last of the obstacles. We're finally going home! <laughs> Come on, Winslow! Of course, our team's got Winslow. our back. Winslow, come on! Down with the love. You know I love you, but you will be very tired sometimes. Just yell it, dude. Hey, cats suck! What did you say? You heard me, cats suck. Pigs are way cooler. I don't know what you're playing at, but I'm bored with it. Ah! What's going? Ah, I've got it. Excellent. I did it. You're all dying now. Uh, no, thank you. Got it. No! Oh, she fell right into the Endermites. <coughs> I bet you're real proud of yourself. Look at me! Stuck again! Out of Ender Pearls! And that's where she wanted us to end up. Trapped. In my own trap! <laughs> of course. Of course. I'm really sorry it had to be this way, Cassie. I wish it could have gone differently. Me too. Wait. At least don't leave me here all alone. Give me my cat. My dear sweet Winslow, he's my best, my only friend. Please. Here, kitty. Here, you pain in the butt, kitty. Ah, there you are, Winslow. Who loves you? Come to master. Oh, there you are. There you are. You and me are together forever, just like it was always meant to be. Trapped together. Forever. Just me and my little Winslow. Wow, so she kept the real portal hidden down here all this time. Unless this one is a trap, too. I don't know if even she'd be that paranoid. Only one way Maybe. to find out. Use. Good sign so far. Yeah. No trick floors or arrows or anything. Okay, sure. But who's going first? We're a team. We all go together. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Adventure! Of course, he stays behind. Oh, a minute. Watch him gonna be popping out somewhere different than all of us. All right, what's going on, dudes? It's me, Captain Sparkles next time on Minecraft Story Mode. After defeating the dreaded White Pumpkin, will Jesse and the others find their way back to the portal hallway? And will it lead them home? Or instead, are they destined for more perilous adventures? Well, I guess I'll never know because I got pounded into the ground by a ton of sand. I guess you saw that, right? I'm in the middle of an amazing speech, and boom! I've suddenly become part of the floor. I mean, dude, you saw that, right? How much worse can it get? First they choose not to invite me on their adventure, and the next thing I know, I'm part of the floor. Anyway, one thing's for certain. Even without me, this is gonna be an amazing adventure. Did not expect Captain Sparkles to do that. I honestly did not expect him to show back up.
Okay, so this episode we had five critical choices. So the first one was uh, whether or not we showed Captain Sparkles the flint and steel. And it looks like 82% of players did. Uh, only about 18% uh, didn't. Then we also had a somewhat even split. Definitely more in the favor of what we did. We uh, refused to accuse everyone, so yeah. Um, and then 71% of players, which we were part of, went after the White Pumpkin instead of helping your friends, I guess. Uh, then 75% of the players convinced the others about Cassie Rose. And then 73% of players left her with her cat. I mean, we're not monsters, okay? But... Yeah. Anyways, if you guys have found yourself enjoying this episode today, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that you guys can be notified upon me posting any new videos. And yeah, this has been Gunshy Mori signing off. Peace.